All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do here is let's go ahead and look at our um, let's go ahead and look at our camera. Okay. So we have a wire harness coming out of the flight controller, and then if we open up our camera here, um, I'm going to set that aside. That's the that's the OSD. I'm not going to really uh, mess with that right now because the camera settings are where I need them to be. But here's our camera right here, and we have a wire harness that comes with that as well. So if you look at this wire harness here, you're going to see the following. Right. Here's your wire harness. And it's got a plug with four pins and it's got a plug with three pins. Pay close attention to this. You are actually going to be using the plug with four pins to plug into the back of your camera. Even though there's no wire in the fourth slot, sorry, even though there's no wire in the fourth slot, you're still gonna use this one to plug into the back, just like that, okay? So your pattern will be red, black, yellow. You can keep your cap on there or not, that's fine. So there's, the option here is going to be to, and normally I could say, well, you could just pull this out and plug this in, but if you put it in incorrectly, there could be a serious problem there and the camera could get damaged. So we're gonna do this the normal way, which is going to be to cut the wire and then solder them together and then cover them with heat shrink, okay? So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and take this wire here. And I would say, if you just took this wire and folded it back, right just like that right you basically take half the length so you want to cut half the length of this wire off just like this okay you could throw this out or you could save it if you want to save your wiring there you go all right and we're going to now unwind it just kind of get it straight all right and we're going to take half of this wire and we're going to cut it off and you can save that still has the plug a three plate three pin plug on the back so you can save that okay now what we're going to do is we are going to strip these wires. So take a wire stripper and we're going to strip them all. So there's the yellow, uh, there's the black here. And you can actually, you actually don't make these ones too short. You could, you could go probably two, two and a half, three mil, doesn't matter because you're, you're going to buddy these up with this one here. So then you're going to strip these three, the white, the red and the black. So we'll do red first. Now we'll go to white. And then we'll do black, okay? All right, now, I'm going to tin these wires first. So I left enough to where I can put them on my table, use my flux pen, and tin them up, okay? And then, again, just spin this, spin the white, and spin the black. And do not worry about there being excess here because like I said, you need more surface area now so you can solder those together. So now I'm going to tin these up. So let's get that done. There we go. There you go. And there you go. Okay, now I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna bring my camera, I'm gonna unplug this from the camera. I don't need it plugged in. I just wanted to show you what that was like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and lay this cable here, do the same thing, okay? So black, red, and yellow, spin them up, just like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strip a little bit more off of here because I need a little bit more surface area. There you go. Okay, twist them up. And I guess what I'll do is I'll bring in my helping hands. Here they are. To hold this. And let me spread these wires apart. And we'll tin these now, okay? So we'll do the yellow here. Do the red. And do the black. Perfect. Okay. Now, you should have a yellow uh, heat shrink that we included. So you're gonna grab that real quickly and you're gonna do the following. You are going to take the heat shrink, fold it in half, cut it at the halfway mark, okay? There you go, now you have two pieces, okay? And then you will cut each of those in half. That's it. So you should end up with four pieces out of this, okay? There you go. Now, we need to get these connected together. So the red, black, and white to the red, black, and yellow. 
Because these are longer wires, we're gonna put the heat shrink down those wires first so they don't get near the heat. That'll just keep them far from the heat so they don't shrink while we're soldering. So I'm gonna start with the white one first. And I'm gonna use my helping hands for this because it'll hold it still. So I'm gonna have one in the helping hands and I'm gonna take the other wire and do it myself. And for this, I'll probably need my Magoo glasses, so hold on. Here's what we are going to do. They've both been tinned. So now all we need to do is get them near each other like this and then just bring the soldering iron to them it'll melt the tin that's on there and it'll fuse the two wires together just like that perfect okay now I will show you under the microscope as well if I can here let me take that off let me show you what this looks like okay so let me do it I'm gonna do it again actually You can see it so let me see if I can get that under the microscope so you can see exactly how this should look okay so I'm gonna take these apart just so you can see it okay all right so this is what we're looking at right here so there's the yellow wire all right now I am going to make sure my soldering iron is clean I'll put a little bit more solder on here just because I want this to now I'm gonna bring the white wire down to it Put them side by side like that, and I'm just going to let this touch, just like that, okay? Once that cools, those two wires are now perfect together, okay? I will let that go, and I'll try to show you this under the microscope here. Uh, let me see if I can get that position right. Okay, now I'm going to bring my heat shrink and cover that area, put it right in the center of the heat shrink, and let's see if I can show you what this will look like when we're done. All right, there's the heat shrink there. And now I'm going to get the gun, heat gun. We're going to make a very good connection using this, right? All right, so this is what it should look like when it's done. And I think it's a little bright under there. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to take this out now and show you guys on the table what this looks like. So let's do it like this. All right. So here's the cable. That's cable number one. And I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that I get all the way around so that heat shrink really holds well. Okay, there's one. And I'm gonna repeat the process now for the next uh, cable. So, one thing that I can tell you most people do is they forget to put the heat shrink on for the next one. It's, I do it all the time, I forget. So, just try to remember, I'll do the black wire next, and take that yellow heat shrink, slide it over all the way down the longer part of the wire there. Okay, and I'm gonna take this, hold it just like that. I'm going to take my soldering iron, I'm going to add a little bit more solder to it, just so that I have some on the iron here. Okay, there we go. Take my tweezers, lay it across like this. Excellent. Okay. If you end up with like this little tip that comes up, just cut that off. You're good. Now I'm going to take the Heat shrink, slide it over this new connection, bring the heat gun in. Okay, let it go. And then make sure I get the other side. So it's all perfect there. All right, cool. And the last one is gonna be the red cable. Line that up. Soldering iron. Put some solder on it here. Put a little extra solder right there. Take your heat shrink. Run it down the red wire there. And bring the white red wire in. Perfect. Now we have this last piece here to get the heat shrink on. like that. Repeat the heat gun again. Excellent. Okay. And now we'll lift it up, get both sides. And you're done. You now have a very successful, very strong and reliable 
connection for your camera. Now you can twist this up if you want, okay? And it's good to go. You're done. Safe and ready, okay? Now, the next step, when we come back, we'll take a break from this video so you can make sure your camera's set and all your wires are set. All right, so remember, black to black, red to red, and then the yellow and white, okay? Next thing that we're gonna do is, uh, I guess what we'll do next is we will do our receiver and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the buzzer. So I'll be back in just a minute and we'll work on getting that receiver soldered up. See you guys in just a minute.